Why well, you know this clown don't want to be a king? So we have a King of the Ring report with me and Gene. The qualifying is complete. The first round now is Brett versus Razor, Hacksaw versus Bam Bam, Tatanka versus Narcissist, and Hacksaw, excuse me, uh, Mr. Hughes versus Mr. Perfect. And as noted, they didn't mention what here on a Earth. bizarre fucking bracket. Can you read those matches one at a time again? Bret Hart versus Razor Ramon. All right, that sounds great. Now, quite frankly, that should be the finals, but that that's an opening match here in this tournament. Hacksaw Jim Duggan versus Bam Bam Bigelow. <laughs> that does not sound like a good match at all. Tatanka versus Narcissist. That sounds like a flat-out horrible fucking match. And Mr. Hughes versus Mr. Perfect. That is bizarre. Why is you. Mr. Perfect facing Mr. Hughes? I don't know. Who <laughs> Why are they both going by Mr.? Uh, uh, maybe the loser maybe the loser loses the rights to the name Mr. Mm. And they did not mention this here, but I was so frustrated I had to look it up. Shawn Michaels and Crush had a qualifier. It went to a double countout. So neither man qualified for King of the Ring. But uh, they're going to be a rematch at King of the Ring, and this time Sean's Intercontinental title will be on the line. So there you go. And, of course, Hulk Hogan versus Yokozuna for the WWF Championship. So Hulk finally appears. I think this is his first <laughs> appearance on Raw since he yeah. won this title of Mania. What in the absolute fuck was his fucking promo here? I wrote down this one. was one of those Hogan promos. This was like straight out of a Saturday Night's main event in the 80s where he talks a little bit and then Jimmy talks a little bit. And then he goes full Hulk Hogan, and he starts cutting this fucking promo. And I was like, literally halfway through, I rewound to the beginning to like start over again so I could really pay attention to what he was saying. I still don't know what in the fuck he was talking about. He had some seemingly racist line, but it was like so weird. I don't even know what the fuck he was talking um, about. He but... threatened at one point to slam Yokozuna like a big fat roll of sushi or something. Is that what, no, it was even more bizarre than that. I mean, that's probably what he meant to say, but hmm. I think it was weird. And then he's talking about his giant muscles, because, of course, he's smaller than ever because they're Here, drug testing. Here's the part I did write down. We all know the pythons are the largest arms in the world, but the only thing that's as large as Hulk, Hulk Hogan's pythons, brother, is Jimmy Hart's heart, brother. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I, I thought I knew where it was going. Thankfully, I didn't. But no, then he goes, uh, the 24-inch pythons are bigger than ever. And he flexes biceps, and I'm like, those aren't bigger than ever. And then he goes, the striations of my triceps. And then he calls it the pectoralis. The pectorials. The pectoralis. No, he called it the pectoralis. He uh, totally fucked it up. Yeah. Oh, my God. Who wrote, who wrote this? Braun Strowman? <laughs> It was weird because in, in, in content, it was a very much a classic Hulk Hogan promo, but we went back and watched those Saturday Night's main event and a couple of manias, and this is a... It's also weird because in context of how this went down, this is Hogan's farewell for like a decade to this company, and I don't know if he knew it then, I don't know if he thought it was going over or what was happening, but he's doing this promo, and he, you know when they say, you know, your, your character needs to be a version of yourself turned up to 11? This is a version of himself turned up to seven. It's very a much more, much more calmer, more restrained Hulkster than I'm used to seeing here in the World Wrestling Federation. It was all very strange. But anyway, he says he's tired of the haters who don't believe he can slam this big man. He's going to pick him up, turn him north, south, east, and west, slam him through the mat. And what you're going to do when Hulkamania runs one, wild on you? Google Tiger Jackson wrestler and then go into images and then go into GIFs. <laughs> he does all these spots where he spins on his head. I'm crying. And I'm supposed to be watching this stupid show, but I just keep watching Tiger Jackson spots on Google. I hereby induct him into the Matt Cleary Hall of Awesome. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Thank you, Craig. That's two to that's two to zero or whatever. Aye. Okay. If you enjoy these videos for just seven dollars and ninety-nine cents per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.